okay, so I'm back. She was seven, and I'm outside today because I gotta watch my kids swim. They're out for summer. So today's topic is gonna be about, you know, what happens when you get married, when life sets in. Okay, so for example, I, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't work. My husband don't ask me to work. I, I can make money online if I want to. Uh, I make money through YouTube, stuff like that, okay? But before that, I didn't. So my question is, who's going to watch your kids during the summer? Uh, if you're working and your husband's working, you know, you're going to have to pay for daycare, neighbors, or somebody to watch your kids. So that's money out of your pocket. Um, also, you know, what kind of life do you really want? You know, is, is being with someone uh, that's your ideal as far as looks and uh, what society thinks is uh, supposed to be versus the lifestyle that you want. You kind of got to think about that. You know, what are you going to, what are you willing to sacrifice to have the lifestyle that you want without putting in or, you know, giving all your time away? Um, and being away from your children, what are you willing to sacrifice for that? Is it looks? Is it the soulmate thing? Like some people say, oh, I know there's a soulmate. I have a soulmate. Is that, you know, is that even real? Or are there soulmates in other parts of your life? Like your soulmate could be your child or your sister or your best friend or one of your parents. So a soulmate is not always a lover, okay? so. Y'all could scratch that off the list. Um, so mainly it's what you want in life. Some women want this romance and they don't care if they have to be poor to get it. They just want the attention and affection of a man because I don't know. But some women like lifestyle and some women want, you know, the things in life that make them comfortable and happy. And then some women want to build up a man into something that they were supposed to be already. And so they will work for that man while the man stays home. Um, so it's, there's lots of different types of relationships out there. And I don't, I don't um, down anyone for wanting what they want because everyone wants something different. So um, it's okay that I want the lifestyle. It's okay if this person wants the romance and it's okay if this person wants to take care of their man. It's okay, you know? It doesn't mean that they're right or wrong. It just means they want different things in life. And sometimes those things and wants change. So if you're tired of taking care of a man and you want the lifestyle, you know, if you're not married and you're not fully, you know, committed to this person, you can always leave and do something else. Do you know what I'm saying? But when you do get married and you make that commitment, you're stuck there and it's harder to get out. So be sure that you know what you want when you enter into a long-term relationship. Do you want a lifestyle? Do you want your kids to be happy? Do you want them to have everything that they don't have or that you didn't have? Do you want life to be easy? Do you want it to flow? Do you want things to come you know, with no problems or opposition or issues? Or would you rather face certain things and struggles to have, you know, that perfect soulmate relationship that you feel is real? Um, or do you want to really, you know, work hard eight to 12 hours a day and, t you know, take care of this man that, you know, is your dream man because that's the only way to have them? Um, it's up to you. Like I said, we all have these choices and we can always change our minds. Like, if I wanted this whirlwind romance to sweep me off my feet and live in La La Land and I wanted um, just the soulmate feeling of being one soul with a person, I would have to give up some of this because that's not gonna come with uh, that type of man. You know what I'm saying? I would have to give up a lot. I would have to go get a job. I would have to do all that stuff. And to me, it's not worth it. I feel that within myself. I fulfill myself and I don't need all of that. What I what I want and what I need is for my kids to be happy, to have something fun and enjoy their life and be set up for the rest of their life. That's what I need, okay? I don't need to feel like I'm special. I already am special. I feel special within myself. I don't, 
need like somebody to tell me. Okay, yeah. So I don't think I could give this up for that whirlwind romance. I mean, I've had that when I was a teenager. I had that when I was in my young 20s. And there's no, ro for me, there's no romance without finance. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I want to live life and I want to enjoy life. I don't want to struggle and, you know, just use love as an excuse as to why I'm struggling. Um, and a lot of people will down me and stuff like that. Well, I have two degrees. I can make money on my own. I don't need a man to give me money. You know what I'm saying? My, my mom has money. Uh, my sister has money. Um, you know, we own land and stuff like that. I don't need, you know, I don't need this man to... Um, my husband I don't need him to have the same lifestyle uh, but I do enjoy the lifestyle that we have together because it's everything that I've always wanted you know uh, and more actually so why would I sacrifice that you know for the sake of having this fairy tale fictional type of soulmate love that it's not really real it's just you know an illusion um, there's compatibility you can get along with a lot of different people so uh, people ask me do you believe in soulmates do you believe in twin flames no I don't I believe in past lives I believe that we've met each other before and in some past life or another and you know we might recognize that feeling when we do meet someone but it's not a soulmate um, it's just someone you're compatible with that you recognize, you know, their spirit. So, um, a lot of people ask me to do videos on this. A lot of people will stay with an abusive person because they feel that's their soulmate or they were told that that's your soulmate. But that's really just BS, you know. If someone's your soulmate, they wouldn't be abusing you. It's not, uh, it's not right. So, y'all, use your brain, use your logic understand that what you want in life is what you should be working towards you know um, and don't like I said in my other videos don't count on men for their potential if you can't touch it if it's not tangible then it's only imagination I think someone wrote that in my comments okay so I will see you guys later I'm getting ready to go get in this pool and I will be back on my next video uh, if y'all want to suggest a topic for my next video, please put them in the comments and I will pick from one of them in the comments, okay? And if I see one over and over, the most popular one, I will pick that one, okay? So I'll see you guys later. Bye! See y'all laters!